The purpose of this video is to help students of AP Statistics describe distributions of single variable data. We will be using the pulse rate data that you provided on your student survey. We have our acronym SOX, which says shape, outlier, center, key title labels, and spread. Remember to wear your socks. The graphs must wear their socks. Also, remember to connect your context, concept to your context. Avoid using phrases such as the data shows, the graph shows. Instead, use the variable names, the distribution of pulse rates shows, and you'll be guaranteed to get credit for your context. Lastly, remember to choose appropriate summary measures. For skewed distributions, you must use the median and the IQR. For symmetric distributions, you must use the mean and the standard deviation. Go ahead and pause this video and download the template if you haven't already. Print it out so that you can write directly on it as we go through this next example. It serves as a model response. If you use this template correctly, you are guaranteed to get a rubric score of 4. Now that you have your template, let's take a look at what the pulse rate distribution looks like. Now I've entered the data into Fathom. You can enter the data into your calculator and get similar plots and similar summary measures. First, as we take a look at the histogram, we see what appears to be a slightly symmetric type of distribution in terms of the shape, but these low values over here are going to cause that distribution to skew slightly to the left. I've plotted for you the mean value for the pulse rates. Down here we have a box plot, a modified box plot to be exact. And so what we see here are three outliers in the lower ranges, two outliers in the upper ranges. And so we will address those as we start to talk about those. For the box plot, we have the box itself. The leftmost vertical line represents the lower, Q, lower quartile Q1. The rightmost line, vertical line, represents the upper quartile Q3. And the line in the box itself represents the median. So you can see that this median sits just about in the middle of the box, which would lead us to believe that this distribution of pulse rates is roughly symmetric. However, these outliers are so far away from that median that again, that graph is going to be slightly skewed to the left, ever so slightly. What we have here is a summary table from Fathom. In order, the numbers listed above are the mean, the standard deviation, followed by the five number summary, min Q1, median Q3, max, and that's followed by the counts, how many data values we had to work with. So let's talk about this a little bit based on what we've seen so far. Let's go ahead and describe the distribution of our data for pulse rates. The distribution of pulse rates is slightly skewed left, indicating there are a few students with low pulse rates, while most students tend to have average to high pulse rates. There are five outliers, as verified by the 1.5 IQR rule. Students who reported pulse rates of 0, 7, 15, 112, and 114 beats per minute would be considered outliers. Let's take a moment here and look at how we actually were able to calculate those outliers. The IQR is the difference between Q3 and Q1. It's like a mid-range. You can think of it that way. 80 minus 60 is 20. For the left boundary, we take that difference, multiply by 1.5, and subtract it from Q1. So 60 minus 1.5 times 20 gives us 30. The right boundary, we take the IQR, multiply by 1.5, and add it to Q3. So 80 plus 1.5 times 20 gives us 110. As a result, any values lower than 30 
or higher than 110 would be considered outliers. And you can see that our five numbers meet those conditions. 0, 7, 15 are all less than 30. 112 and 114 are all greater than 110. The typical student has a pulse rate of 70 beats per minute as measured by the median. The middle 50% of pulse rates are not consistently spread about the median as indicated by the IQR of 20 beats per minute. Now we're choosing the median here because the distribution is skewed left. In the description, do not talk about why you're choosing the median. Just choose it. Your choice will communicate that you understand why. The phrasing here with the middle 50% of pulse rates describes the IQR in context. I determined that these were not consistently spread based on the value of 20 and understanding the units. A difference of 20 beats per minute in pulse rate is extreme. That is not a low difference. Think about one person who might have a pulse of 90 and a difference of 20 could put them up to a pulse rate of 110 beats per minute. That's a huge difference. So my hope is that you will learn from this template, that you will use this template as you practice. Remember, practice well to perform well. If you have any questions, please post them on the blog. As always, have a great night.